Hello everybody, we're going to do a little more in Tinkercad today. I want to show you guys how to use some tools to analyze a circuit a bit. So here we have our circuit one, um, positive, red, going to our switch, um, going through a resistor, which is then joined up to our LED, uh, and the negative, the flat side of the LED, comes back around the green wire to negative in our battery. All right, so let's give this a shot here. If you scroll down a bit in our basic parts, you will see a multimeter here, just like what we had in class. So I'm gonna take one and drag it in place, and let's use it to measure some things really quick. Um, let's set it to current amperage. I'm going to put it up here. Now remember, current or amperage is the measure of current flowing through a circuit. So we need to put this meter in line. We need the current to flow through the meter. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this wire and I'm going to draw a wire from here to here, and then I'm going to connect this back to our um, meter here, our battery pack. Let's make this one black. Now when we turn our simulator on, you'll see we have current. I was coming up negative. Um, I did these backwards, so let's fix that. So the more negative side of the circuit is obviously this position on the battery. So we're going to go right up to here. And the more positive side would be the end of the LED. So we're going to click and drag, click to make these corners. Um, make that one black also. And I like to get fancy here and make my bends nice and straight. I just, uh, looks neater. So now we have current flowing through the meter back to our battery. Let's see, start simulation. So we have 4.8 milliamperes, a thousandth of an amp running through our circuit. That's with a 1000 ohm resistor. So if I change it, let's go to 500. Less resistance, we have increased the current. Less resistance, increase the current. If we increase the resistance, we decrease the current. All right, now does this make sense? Does this work? 4.8 milliamps. Well, we have six volts, and if we look at our Ohm's law, current equals volts divided by resistance, volts over resistance. So I take out my trusty calculator here on my phone, and I do six divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.006, six milliamps is what this tells us. When this is telling us 4.08 milliamps. So something's going on here. Well, we're gonna use a meter that is set in voltage mode to help us tell the rest of this story, okay? So I'm gonna connect this meter across our LED to measure the voltage across our LED, okay? And that will be the next video coming right up.